What if I told you that with just a few clicks you can create this interactive map? Today I'm gonna show you how to build a PowerPoint animation system so smart. Part 1. Building the slide structure. First, from the Insert tab, choose Icons and Search World. Select the Continents and click Insert. Now adjust their sizes and align them to form a complete world map. Now the result is this. Next, select all the icons, right click and choose Format Object. Set their colors to gray. This will be our first foundation. To organize them properly, open the selection pan from the Graphics Format tab. Click each icon and rename it based on its continent. For example, North America, South America, and so on. This step keeps everything clear once we add animations. Now duplicate all the continents and place the copies directly on top of the originals. You'll notice two sets inside the selection pad. To avoid confusion, add a number or tag to the top layer's name. For example, here I use dash one. Then open the effects tab and apply a soft shadow on the top layers. And after that, change their fill colors as well. This makes them visually pop when they active. Next, add your main title and your prepared text for each continent. Let's start with North America. Now, the structure is ready. Let's bring it to life with the smooth entry animations with triggers. Select the continent, go to Animations tab, and choose Fade for its entrance. Then select the text and apply a floating animation. Now it's time to set the triggers. Open Trigger and assign the animation to activate and click off the base layer of North America. Do the same for the colored upper layer. You can see everything from the animation pad. I changed the second one to start with previous. Just select this. And just like that, with one click, two elements entering perfectly together. But what about making them disappear? Part 3. Adding exit animation with triggers. To create the exit animation, select the continent again. This time, use add animation. So the new animation gets added without deleting the previous one. Choose fade out from the red effects. Then select the text and add float out. Now open the trigger panel. But this time, assign the trigger to the top layer. Because at the end, only the top layer is clickable. Do the same for the text by dragging it inside the trigger group in animation pan. And set it to start with previous, so they exit simultaneously. Now you can turn the continent on and off with a click. Repeat this process for all continents. And the final result is an attractive animated world map. And that's it, your slide is no longer just a slide. It's a fully interactive visual experience that reacts to your audience, keeps them engaged and makes your presentation unforgettable. If this tutorial helped you unlock a new skill, I'd really appreciate your like, comment and of course your subscription. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial, next week, next week. Bye!